delicious Singapore hawker foods in Singapore. Welcome to another food adventure with Getting Lost. Today, we'll be doing something different. We're going to concentrate on one food item. One food item that has been quite popular and has been popping up in a lot of the food centers and a lot of Singaporeans have been going there and eating lots of it. So what are we going to do today? As you can see from the screen, we have been looking at, we will be looking at, we will be exploring, we will be eating white beef food. So join me after the intro as we eat our way through Singapore and explore all the different types of white beef food that you can get here in Singapore. Welcome back. Anyway, for those of you who actually joined me for my adventure along Pongo Promenade Nature Walk that took us all the way to Coney Island where we explored the place. Anyway, on our journey there, we actually stopped by for lunch at this place called White Restaurant. And I actually ordered what they are famous for. And this place here, actually not this place here, but this is the chain, the original shop, which is actually in Sabawang. Actually, is one of the originators, one of the pioneers of this dish itself. So, I decided to try the noodles here to taste what it's supposed to taste like, what the pioneer of this dish created. And, unfortunately, I was disappointed. Well, I suspect the reason why I was disappointed was because uh, when they cook my noodles, they cook it in a big batch for maybe three to four uh, plates and then what happened was they didn't give me enough of the soup, the soup stock that it didn't penetrate all the way into the noodles. The outer layer, they were at the side, was delicious but the inner layer, it didn't, the soup didn't penetrate it. So, I've decided to go and try to go to the original, go to Sambawang, all the way there to try this dish as it's supposed to be. So, we have jumped forward in time, and in front of us is actually Sambawang Shopping Center, and this road itself. It's going down there is actually called Jalan Tampang. Yes, this is Jalan Tampang. So we're going to walk down this road. Slightly to the right is the restaurant we are going to, which they have renamed the whole branch. All the branches are now called White Restaurant, but they are actually called the original Sembawang White Bihun. So that is um, Sembawang Shopping Center, and the road in front of Sembawang Shopping Center is actually called Sembawang Road, and this is Jalan Tampang. And this is the restaurant itself. So like I said earlier, they were originally called the original Sambawang White Bihun. Now they call it a white restaurant and they have several branches around the island. But this is the original branch. And this is the place where I'm going to try the pioneer shop where they cook white bihun. And here is the noodles itself. And usually comparing this one and the previous one, you can definitely tell the, the big difference here. So overall, the look itself, they look the same because they are cooked by the same chain restaurants. And the main difference here, that you can really see the difference here is that there is more broth in this one. Can you see that? Yes, definitely much more broth. The broth itself is a seafood broth and it is very flavorful not the most flavorful I've tasted and in this dish itself not the most flavorful but it does its job well it helps to flavor the noodles and it complements the fried egg in these noodles very well 
like the previous restaurant, this dish itself cost me six dollars. It has uh, fresh seafood and fresh sotong or squid, and the noodles itself. You know, the seafood broth itself helps to uh, flavor the noodles very deliciously, and it does it. It does a job so well that you don't even need to eat it together with the sambal. Overall, this is a very very good uh, white bihun. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was so yummy, yummy, yummy in my tummy and delicious. And if you're here, you should give it a try. Uh, but I heard that if you come here during the weekends, the queues here are crazy. So you will be you will have to be prepared to queue up to eat. Since I'm here, uh, one of my subscribers actually recommended that I should try their hor fun. So here it is. This is the uh, Hua Fan, which is flat rice noodles, stir fried with meat and vegetables with a starchy, delicious sauce. And here also, they did the sauce really, really well. The sauce itself helps to flavor the noodles, help to flavor all the ingredients in the dish itself and to bring all the dish together. The noodles itself um, doesn't have enough of the wok flavor that I would like but the sauce really really good really delicious really well done this dish itself cost me six dollars or so but comparing the both dishes I still prefer the white bihun for our next stop in our journey to explore white bihun in Singapore we head towards the northeastern coast of Singapore Island to this place called Changi Village Hawker Centre and in this place there is a store that is very popular that people come here to try their white bihun and the name of the place is this here called Wun Wun Pek Bihun this shop itself gives you the choice of having different types of seafood together with your white bihun so you can have uh, other uh, seafood ingredients like uh, crawfish you know, or prawns you know, and then you, know, you will be paying a higher price for it but I decided to get something simple which is uh, lala and sliced fish lala is a type of clam and this dish itself cost me five dollars so one thing very different about this uh, spike bihun itself is the broth, the soup this broth itself is clear and it's very, it's a lot. It's much more than all the other dishes. But even though it looks clear, it is still fully flavored. It's a very, very good and flavorful seafood stock. Don't be fooled by how it looks. It is really, really flavorful. And the fish and the lala is also fresh. One thing about this dish is that the noodles itself, the bihun, by itself itself is not there's not much flavor to it so you do have to eat it together with the noodles and the aftertaste here there's a strong fried garlic aftertaste but one thing really really good here is the seafood broth here which is more like a seafood soup which they give you a lot and it goes very well with the with the seafood ingredients another delicious and yummy white bihun Slightly different style, but still very good. As I was rubbing my tummy just now, we have somehow reached the next location, which is Block Twenty, Block Two One Zero, Topayo Lorong Eight Food Center, and we are having the white bihun here at this shop called East Seafood White Mihun, and this is also the shop, another shop. Like the previous one where you can actually have different types of seafood together with your bihun and of course the more expensive the uh, seafood ingredients you choose the more expensive the price for me uh, as per usual i decided to take a the cheaper version which is over here which cost me five dollars and this one is prawn together with lala lala itself is a type of clam so the main difference here 
from the other shop itself as you can see even though there's a lot of soup the soup here is slightly cloudier not as clear as the other side and the, the bihun here actually does absorb in some of the delicious seafood stock so the bihun here is more, more flavored than the previous side but I feel the first place the one with the clear soup stock the seafood stock itself is much more flavorful than this place but still very very good and there's also lots and lots of pork luck which helps to flavor the noodles this is also another good uh, white bihun store but comparing the two dishes the first one and this one I still prefer the first one we have now jumped to another location this time in the heartlands of Singapore Tampanese which is in the heartlands of Singapore and this is Tampanese Street 82 and at this coffee shop that you see right in front of you there is another restaurant a restaurant that serves cooked dishes or zizha dishes and in this coffee shop itself there are lots of different foods but in this corner is Jin Hock seafood and you can order different types of dishes and one of the dishes they sell is white bihun this plate actually cost me five dollars what I really really like here is the delicious soup stock the gloriously delicious soup stock once you taste it it's like ringing the clock bells in your taste buds it is really really good it has a very strong seafood flavor with uh, garlic aftertaste then there's also uh, lean pieces of pork meat and crispy pork lard I think they also put uh, some MSG into this uh, dish itself but look at the soup stock the soup stock itself is a bit starchy it's a bit thicker than your usual uh, white bihun but it's soaked into the noodles completely and the seafood here is also fresh and once you eat this dish the noodles itself all the different ingredients all slide down your throat smoothly smoothly and silkily and deliciously and yummily so satisfying so delicious so must try this is another dish that you have to go and try because the noodles here this white bee hood itself is really good really delicious really really yummy and I'm not kidding you really we have now jumped to someplace else in Topayo in front of us now is actually Topayo West Food Center and unfortunately it's closed for renovation but luckily for us we are not going there to eat we're actually going diagonally opposite to this coffee shop that's under the block the block is block 124 Topayo Lorong 1 yes this is the block itself and underneath the block itself there is a restaurant a zizha place where they actually cook food for you and one of the dishes that they cook which is a bit unique that not many places in Singapore sell is a version of white bihun yes this shop here at the corner here they sell uh, cooked dishes but they also sell a white bihun dish which is the dry white bihun yes this is the dry style of white bihun don't be conned by other places that sells you fried bihun but this is the white bihun dry style and the white bihun dry style here is really good as you can see not a drop of soup stock can be seen that is because the noodles has absorbed all the soup stock into itself and the flavor of the delicious soup stock is now in the noodles and the noodles with the soup stock inside of it goes very well with the fried egg that they cook that they fry together with the noodles there's also crispy pork lard which is delicious and gives flavor and also a crispy texture to the noodles itself the prawns and sotong are fresh but 
you can tell they're actually cooked separately from the noodles itself. The chili that comes together with the noodles is a spicy, sour, garlic chili sauce. And it also goes very well with the noodles, complements the noodles very well. But in my personal op uh, opinion, my personal preference, I prefer to eat it without the chili. But here, this place here, just looking at it now, makes me hungry for the noodles again. Because the noodles here is really yummy, yummy in my tummy, delicious. And I wish I was there now eating it another plate. We have now jumped much further away. Down in front there is actually Beauty World MRT Station Exit B. And this road in front of it is actually Chong Chin Nam Road. And along that road itself is this restaurant called Chong Ki Seafood White Bee Hoon Restaurant. And this place here also sells a different version of white bee hoon. Yes, previously we tried dry version. Now we're going to try red bee hoon. Yes, you didn't hear me wrong. I said red bee hoon. This drink I'm having now is a drink with this fruit called Pua Ke Don Dong. It's supposed to be a green fruit with, with lots of antioxidants in it. So they actually have some dried sour plum that actually makes it sour. And the fruit itself has a very raw green fruit taste to it. Something like a raw mango with skin on it. But overall, it's a very interesting drink. I actually came to this restaurant here for dinner. So I actually ordered a few other dishes. First of all is this cabbage soup with meat dumplings which cost me $12. It's a quite a big bowl of soup for one person. Then next to it, I actually ordered uh, otak otak with egg white. Otak otak itself is actually a grilled fish cake where in, inside the fish cake itself, there is a minced fish and then you also have some spices and then maybe some tapioca starch itself. They actually grilled in banana leaves. So this one itself, they actually put it together with egg white. And look at that. And the star of the show here is the red bihun. And you can see the red bihun gets its name from the fiery red soup broth that comes together with the noodles. And when I say the noodles itself is fiery red, I mean that the soup broth itself is super spicy. Once the first taste you taste of the soup broth will blow your mind with how spicy it is. First of all, I mean, let's talk about the cabbage soup. You have meat dumplings in it. These meat dumplings are big. Look at those meat dumplings. And together with a variety of vegetables. The meat dumpling itself, inside the dumpling, there is shrimp, pork meat, I think even onion. And the vegetables itself, which is in the soup. The soup stock itself is a vegetable soup stock. And because the vegetable itself wasn't cooked together with the soup, the vegetables is still nice and crunchy. So this is the otak otak with egg white. A very very unique dish. I have not seen this anywhere else before. So the otak otak itself has lots of fish meat inside and it has a very nice firm texture to it. It's also very well flavoured. The egg white itself is what you expect egg white to be. Plain and has a very clean taste. But what's interesting is together, somehow the texture, the firm nice texture of the otak otak complements the soft wobbly egg white and together the bite texture of them together are unique and quite satisfying so if you want to try something different this is something that you can try this is red bihun and what makes it red is because it's spicy and if you keep eating 
slowly slowly you get used to the spiciness and after that you can actually taste that the soup broth here is a very flavorful seafood broth and it's delicious the prawns and uh, squid here cooked together with seafood broth and it's also very fresh what I can say about this dish itself is that it is satisfying it will make you sweat it is spicy it will blow your mind off with how spicy it is but after you get used to the spiciness then you can start tasting how flavorful the dish is and so we have tried all the different types of white people that you can find in Singapore we have the original version which is from white restaurant then we have the another popular version that you can find in a lots and lots of food centers in Singapore which is the soupy one which is very similar to the original one then we have the new introduction of the dry white bee food which is super tasty and lastly the red bee food which will blow your mind with how spicy it is or the one with a starchier soup stock I'm a bit torn because I really really like all the white bee hoon but there are two favorites that actually stand out the first one is the dry white bee hoon that you get from Yong Yun Seafood which is at Topayo Lorong 1 and next one is at Jin Hock Seafood which is at Tampany Street 82 which has the white bee hoon but with a more concentrated and more starchy uh, soup stock these two are my favorites and I can't decide it's like having it's like being a parent and you have two children you can't decide which is your favorite so I will just say I love them both so I hope you enjoyed this special edition this white bee hood edition of our food adventure here at Getting Lost so if you like what you see please help me by uh, subscribing to my channel liking my videos and sharing my videos you don't have to but I would really appreciate it if you do and the last thing the thing that you must do and you must ask your friends to do the same thing is to join me for my next food adventure as I explore throughout Singapore to find all the good hawker foods and bring it to you so that you can enjoy it and so that you can go and eat it too until next time bye bye